Hello, dear viewership. Um, as I promised, a uh, commenter called Opposite34. Here's some Polybus gameplay. Um, I th I don't think my high score is in this video, but uh, that doesn't matter. I just needed some format to well talk about some things because, um, as you might have heard or seen, um. I don't really know where to go with my videos or with my channel in general because I am I showed nearly everything that there is to the game get access maybe there's some glitches that I could use for the speedrun but well it's a really good programmed game so I don't I couldn't find any um yeah, I thought the I uploaded the lift tool video how to get it for free a few days ago, and honestly, I thought it would be more of a smash hit. It um, didn't do that well. Well, it did good, but I thought it would ha it would do more like the valves or the video because uh, I think it's got 300 views now not 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 it's not too little but I I thought it would be much more I mean I thought the lift tool video would do better because most of my well most of most comments asking something about the game were about how to get the lift tool for free so I figured if many people are looking for that, uh, yeah, it should have been a, it should have been the repair elevator video I uploaded a month ago. I should have explained it there, but I didn't know about this technique. I bought the game right away, and didn't you realize that many people were looking for that? So I guess that's on my fault. I also think I missed the hype of the get access. I, I missed the get access hype a bit. Um, yeah, I uh, feel really stupid for that, but what would I have done with the game? It, it's a really small game, so um, there wasn't really much to go. I have things planned for the future. I don't think they're going there. They're they have to do anything with Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja is a very fun game, but I'm um, looking at the views uh, it got on my videos. I guess it's not that relevant anymore. I, I still play, in from, play it from time to time, maybe I try to better my high score, but uh, it becomes less interesting. Uh, even for me. Uh, yeah, I, I have planned. I have planned some some cool uh, different things, because it's it's an idea I had uh, a year ago or so. Uh, I back then I didn't think I would even upload anything on YouTube. Uh, it's uh, combining a few games that would fit in very well. The games I was thinking are a tiny space program. It's a um, fun little quest game where you can uh, colonize the solar system, and you well, there are basically most of most of the planet or all the planets and most of the big moons. Like uh, there's, I think every moon from Earth, Mars. Um, from Jupiter there are the Galilean moons and um, the Galilean moons what more we have uh, from Saturn there's Titan of course Umbriel I think uh, some more I'm not really sure but um, I'll have to look it up and you you have Triton 
from Uranus, from Neptune. You have Pluto, Charon, uh, all that stuff. I'm not sure if uh, he or uh, they added anything. I don't. I downloaded it when it was still in beta. Yeah. But okay, the problem with that game is it doesn't really have interesting uh, spaceflight mechanics. You just send a rocket somewhere and the game will do its thing. Um, you have a little animation where you can see the, that the rocket is flying into space. Yeah, not, not really something interesting. And the graphics are, well, it's indie graphics, I like it, but many people might not be that interested in that. So, um, but because of the mecha spaceflight mechanics, I have um, I would combine it with space flight simulator. So let's say I fly, I start a rocket um, in tiny space program from Earth to the Moon, um, and uh, but I don't use the visuals, the space flight the f space flight mechanics, um, or I don't show them because well they are not existent really. Um, but I would rather show how I navigate a rocket from the Earth to the Moon uh, in Space Flight Simulator. And then, um, when I, I'll, uh, when I don't, uh, and then I don't show the um, visuals from where I am in the orbit uh, from Space Flight Simulator because these are only also only just uh, descriptive. Uh, visuals not really something interesting um, I would show I would open the third game um, or rather simulator it's space engine um, space engine is a really awesome looking uh, simulator uh, it has uh, the whole solar system of course um, many 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 objects most of the objects we know about in the universe most objects we observed, let's say observed, okay? Um, and it, but because they are, those are compared to what there is in the universe, those aren't a lot, um, the rest is just filled in with procedural generation. It's, um, it's an awesome looking game. Um, atmospheres look amazing, the moon looks amazing, everything just looks amazing. Um, and so uh, that's a PC game, by the way. And um, I would use visuals from that. So I combine, so I basically, I play Tiny Space Program, um, uh, fly rockets in Space Flight Simulator, and show imagery and videos, uh, video recordings from Space Engine. So this would be Tiny Space Flight Engine. Maybe I, I would call it tiny space flight engine. It's a really um, I have no idea. Uh, I have no idea how well this will work, but as I picture in my head, it's awesome. And even if it's not, I, I'll have fun making it. So, yeah, um, the the space engine part. So this project will have to wait a little. I can do the. Um, tiny space program part and the space flight simulator part um, pretty easily because uh, I can record it on my phone but um, the problem lies in space engine because I'm currently traveling a lot and I don't have my good PC I might have to ask my um, my girlfriend if she uh, b because she brought her laptop I don't have a good laptop I just have my PC at home my very very good PC so maybe she'll, uh, I'll, I'll have to ask her um, when we're stationary for more time um, to use her PC and record Space Engine there. I'll also have to install OBS and stuff. Yeah. Um, I have editing software on my phone. It works better than on the PC. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, so no, that no, that would be the space flight program, the space a tiny space flight engine. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe that's more interesting. I saw some really cool stuff uh, from uh, what's his name, 
wait, I have to look up his name. So I just looked up his name. It's Cameron Santoski. He made really um, great stuff with uh, Space Flight Simulator. Um, I check, I check him out. I, uh, the videos are two years old or something. Um, it's a, he plays Space Flight Simulator, but tells a story about an astronaut named Carl. Uh, it, it's really fun. Um, uh, you, sh you should go there. He doesn't talk. Uh, it's something I dislike within YouTube videos because everybody has a